Hey, what's going on guys? Dopes Warner here, and hopefully you can hear me and see me alright. I am recording in a different place than normal. Um, as I'm sure you know, I typically record 99% of my videos in my little uh, bedroom, but I decided that since I got a pretty big box and I didn't want to record with my webcam, that it's nice enough out right now. I've got enough lighting that I can take it out to the living room. So I want to apologize ahead of time um, for any other sounds or additional things you may hear that you don't normally hear in my little closed bedroom. Uh, basically, what we've got in front of us here is a uh, 3D printer kit. It is the RP9V2 from a company or a gentleman uh, named Bob. Uh, his company is Bob CNC, which I will place a link in the description um, so you can take a look. But basically, um, Bob makes really awesome 3D printers, and uh, basically the frame is all like uh, it looks like CNC milled. From what I can see, it's primarily made of wood, with the exception of any like uh, you know metal rails or rods you might need, and obviously the electronics. Um, but it is an extremely custom looking kit and um, Bob was awesome enough to send me out one of his kits to basically build for you guys as well as um, unbox and test and uh, give my opinion on. So in this video we're going to go ahead and unbox this printer here and take a look at what we get inside and then uh, Saturday, which I don't have the date off the top of my head, today is Thursday, so uh, 21st, so the 23rd I will be doing an unboxing video. Um, I'm mean, not unboxing, I'm sorry, a uh, live build video of this printer like I did with the Fulgurtech i3. Um, time I will decide upon and I will upload a separate video letting you know what time and also in the description of this video when I figure it out I'll post the time and details down there. But anyways, enough talking, let's go ahead and get into the unboxing and uh, yeah, so let's take a look at what we got inside. The thing that really caught my eye about these printers, or this printer, was just the amount of custom look, really, like the, the use of wood is insane. And um, I mean, most printers that I've seen use either acrylic or um, aluminum. There's some that use wood too, but just the look of this printer, I'll place a picture over so you guys can take a look too of what it looks like. It's just insane and it caught my eye. So uh, let's see what we've got. We've got a ton of little wood parts here, which looks like, um, looking like stepper motor mounts, potentially extruder mounts. Really neat, actually. I wish like, I might, maybe I can figure out a way to like zoom in on some of this stuff, or afterwards I'll zoom in on some of this stuff so you guys can take a look at it all. But, big old bag of wood stuff there. Then we've got a AC, DC adapter. It's 102 watt, 12 volt power adapter for the, uh, for the board, which I believe, I'm 99% sure it's a ramps board. Um, um, from what I saw, the reason why 102 watts is enough is because this particular unit does not use a heated bed, which does mean that you'll be limited in terms of filament you can use. Um, PLA will be primarily what you can print with. However, uh, I don't know, I have to ask Bob if you wanted to upgrade to a heated bed system um, and update, upgrade the power supply, whether there'd be issues when using the wood um, as the primary uh, structure, but uh, for me personally PLA is I have two printers with heated beds and PLA is what I print with 99% of the time So for me, it's not a big deal. Um, I prefer PLA all over all other filaments regardless So that's why you get to use this instead of like that big like 200 watt um, power supply that you normally see with uh, ramps uh, Rep wrap style printer kits. We've also got a USB cable just your standard 3D printer USB cable. We have got a packing list, which is really nice, where he basically goes through everything and checks off each individual item on the side of it, so that's really cool. It's always a good thing. It's like with my last kit, I was a little frustrated that I didn't have any of the, uh, I think it was the M3 nuts, so any uh, extra checking is always awesome. We have got a Bowden tube which is awesome because the extruder uses, from what I saw, a Bowden setup, which is really neat for me. Um, this is something that I've actually wanted to do for a while, um, install a Bowden extruder on one of my printers, and I just have not done it. So this will be my first printer with a Bowden setup, which will be really exciting to, one, set up, but two, um, kind of check the difference in quality and speed in terms of using a Bowden setup versus a standard, um, basically, direct drive extruder. So. Got a bunch of zip ties, which I love. Great for cable management. We've got there's like some more wooden pallets here. This on the frame. Yep, lots of wood pieces here. So we've got what I believe. Yeah, this is going to be for the uh, bed. 
the build area pretty much looks like most of the most of the frame pieces are in this. I believe these are going to be the side panels for it. They're actually a lot, um, a lot lighter than I anticipated. I don't know why. I was expecting it to be like extremely heavy, but it's pretty light, which is, which is kind of nice. So the one thing you will need um, when you do purchase this kit, if you if you get this kit, is um, the build surface. Um, you do have that wood piece right there, but you're going to be needing um, glass or an aluminum plate or whatever it is. Um, I picked up a glass um, 200 by 200 millimeter um, build area, so I got one of those off Amazon. I can link you to that um, if you're interested, but yeah, that's the one thing you will need. Then we've got our extruder right here, which is looking pretty awesome. I want to actually open that up. Looks like it's got the attachment on top. Um, I believe that's like the Bowden tube attachment already. And I don't know if this is a J head style or let me see what it says in here. Just says extruder. I'll have to look into exactly what style extruder he supplies you, but it's definitely different than, I mean, it's obviously not the Pico, which I have in my DaVinci. And it's definitely different looking than the uh, Fulgurtex one. So it'd be neat to test out also, I'm curious to see what the nozzle size is. It looks pretty small. I wonder if it's a, uh, ah, it is. It's a 0.4 millimeter nozzle. So pretty standard. It's what I'm rocking on my Folger. I do have a 0.5 on my DaVinci, um, but 0.4 is pretty much what I'm using for everything. Ah, we got the electronics. Yeah, so I was right. I, I don't know why I even questioned myself, but we've got the um, ramps 1.4 board with the Arduino already connected to each other. Also, all the drivers are already connected with the uh, appropriate heat sinks, and he's got the jumpers in place under each driver, it looks like. That's really nice because on my first build, I didn't put the jumpers on, and um, I, didn't, I did a lot of mistakes, but it's nice that the jumper's already on there. It's one less thing to think of, and I wonder if he's actually fine-tuned the uh, potentiometer on these uh, driver boards or not. Um, so regardless, though, I think I saw that the the firmware was already pre-flashed on here, which is nice. I'll have to double, double check that, but um, yeah, it says with firmware installed. So that's, that's really cool. That's awesome. Definitely one last step for people that just want to get their printer up and running as soon as possible. And then in this bag, we have got, looks like some bearings, some more zip ties, some smaller zip ties. We've got some, uh, some nuts, some screws, uh, and I'm not sure what those are. Those might be uh, tensioners. It's basically our bag, a bag of hardware right here is what we've got going on. The only pieces I'm not sure of are the wood pieces, but those look like, um, they're not tensioners, they're called, they could be spacers. They look like they might be around spacers because there's just four of them. So that's probably what the wood parts are in here, but I'll figure it out as I build it. We'll, we'll see all that good stuff. Then we've got end stop switches. Yep, end stop switches, which are already wired up, which is awesome. Just literally plug them in and put them where you need to go. That's freaking sweet. These aren't the, uh, these are not the same end stops that I've used for my DaVinci and my um, Folger Tech. These are like kind of generic style end stops, but they are pre wired, which is awesome. So if you aren't big on soldering, I don't know. What you might not even have to solder for this at all. He's definitely like done some things to make it easier on you, which is nice. Then this feels like rods. Yeah, drilled rod and threaded rods. Let's see. I definitely like that there is some uh, labeling on this stuff. That's awesome. Um, that was one big gripe with the last kit I put together was that there was not much labeling at all. So yeah, we've got our smooth rods and our two threaded rods right here. I think there's even some labeling. Yeah, I even did some labeling on the actual nuts and screws in here, it looks like. Some of it's smeared off, but definitely nice that things are things are individually packaged in here, and that is huge. Um, on the last kit, everything was in one bag, not in individual bags like this, just one bag all combined, and um, 
there was no labeling whatsoever and it took me forever just to separate all the things into like my little screw tray which i'll still do with these just for it makes it simpler when building but it, it was kind of just stressful having all that stuff some more zip ties and i think that's it yeah let's go ahead and so this has got one two three five different stepper motors and these are actually significantly beefier than the ones from my last build i think there was one stepper motor for the y axis on the Pierce I built that was this size and the rest were smaller. This, these are huge. These are freaking massive monster. It says, uh, wow, now these are crazy. So I wonder having bigger stepper motors like this, whether that's going to help with speed or what exactly that's going to do, but that's, these are neat. I wonder if it says, uh, stepper drivers. No, but just says stepper motors five. It doesn't say the details on like what exactly they are, but these are, these are beefy really beefy and they're awesome awesomely packed all nicely in here um, to prevent damage during shipping so so i'll go ahead and get some close-up shots of all this stuff for you guys so you can see it because i know this is kind of a further away um, video than normal um, but once again this is the rp9 v2 from bomb cnc really awesome looking kit that i cannot wait to put together for you guys um, so i'll go ahead and get some close-up footage of this stuff for you guys so you can take a look at the kit and again link will be in the description if you're interested in either finding out more or purchasing and um, I don't know if I said it already, but if not, then uh, I just want to definitely say a big thank you um, to Bob for supplying me with his kit um, to be able to build and review and test for you guys. Uh, really awesome of you, and I am extremely, extremely excited to build this guy on Saturday for you guys. So on that note, uh, Dopes Warner, as always, thank you so much for watching, and I am out. Peace, guys.